In the last section, we finished up stage one of all of our passport authentication stuff. We're about to move into the next big section of our application, but before we do, I wanna take care of one outstanding little issue. Remember that right now, every single time that we make a change to our code base inside of our index.js file, I've been saying that we have to restart our server manually. And so we've had to kill the server with control C and then start it back up with node index.js. Now, obviously this gets really tiring really quickly, so we're gonna do things just a little bit differently. We're going to install a little add-on or a little module that's going to automatically restart our server any time we change any file inside of it. And so that means that we won't have to be constantly killing and restarting our server over and over and over again. So the module that we're going to use to give us this behavior is called node mon. We'll install it right now using npm and then we will wire it up to our application. So I'm going to install it by running npm install dash dash save node mon, like so. Now after that installs, we're going to create a new script inside of our package.json file to start up nodemon and tell it to just start doing its thing. So let's let this install really quickly. And you know what, we don't really need to watch it. Who cares about that? Okay, so we'll flip back over to our code editor. I'm gonna find my package.json file and I'm gonna find the scripts section inside of there. So here's scripts right here. I'm gonna add an additional script called dev. And inside of the dev, we're going to provide the command nodemon index.js. So now, if we run this dev script, the command nodemon index.js will start up. Now, you might be a little bit curious, you know, like, what is the scripts thing? Like, dev, what's going on here? Well, let's put it this way. We have now installed nodemon. You can imagine that if we had to constantly run the command nodemon index.js all the time, that's kind of a pain in the rear especially if some new developer comes and starts working on our project and they really have no idea how to start our server up. So rather than just kind of having this like knowledge in our head that, oh yeah, to start up our server for development, we run nodemon index.js, we instead define this dev script inside of our script section, which now allows any other developer in the future to come open up this package.json file and say, oh, to start up the server in development mode, I'm going to run this script right here which is actually running this command. So essentially the script section is our opportunity to put on some kind of like memory saving. And I'm talking about human memory here, of course, some human memory scripts so that we don't have to remember how to start our server up and stuff like that. Now to actually start the script up at the command line, we will run npm run dev like so. Now when we do, you'll see that that automatically executes the command nodemon index.js and then we start to see a little bit of output from nodemon right here. Okay, so let's test this out just very quickly. If I go back into my index.js file and I change like absolutely anything in here, so like let's say here's my console log statement, I'm gonna just remove the colon on there and then save the file. The instant I save the file, if I change back over to my terminal, you'll see a message that says restarting due to changes and here's the command that just got executed again. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Now at this point in time, anytime we make a change to our code base, we don't have to go back and restart the server anymore because nodemon is going to automatically restart it for us once we change any given file. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So that's a nice little time saver. Let's continue in the next section and get back into our authentication flow. So I'll see you in just a second.